Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to edit keyframes in Adobe After Effects. Now, you might be thinking, why would you need to edit a keyframe? So, a keyframe is basically a lot of times used linearly. What I mean by this is, like, let's look at this example right here, where we have the text just slide in from left to right. It's being created linearly. Um, you create one position, you create the next position, and then it just divides by how many frames there are, moves it by that much, and you get this really, really sort of boring effect of this slide in. But let me show you what you can do when you actually edit the keyframes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. And you'll see that the important part here is that they're both at the exact same time values. But this new one is a whole lot more interesting. It slides in really fast at the beginning and then slows itself down to end it out. And if we turn back on the bottom one, you can see that we have they both end at the exact same time. But the first one is, like I said, a lot more interesting. It slides in, then it slows down instead of just doing it linearly. And so that's what we're going to be going over today. So let's go ahead and hide that one. And let's go into this. Now, the way you really edit keyframes is you can do something like, you know, alt click or uh, control click, and that sort of rounds out the sides and stuff like that. But what I think is the most important thing to understand is that there is this beautiful button right here called the graph editor. So if I click on this, it'll bring you to this screen. And if you don't see this screen, you can go down to here and it's the value graph. Uh, make sure that one is selected. And basically what this is, is it's showing you the transition over time. So this red one, if I hover over it, you see that it is the X position. And this uh, green one is the Y position. And you see that there, what I did is represented by this graph. I'm moving the X position from negative 500 value up to a 500 value, so from negative 500 over to 500, and the Y is staying exactly the same. I didn't make it go up or down, just the X is moving. So this right here kind of represents the graph that the change over time. Now, if I click on these keyframes, I can actually make edits to them. So for example, let me click on this keyframe down here. If I create, click this button right here, it's going to easy ease it. It's a weird way of putting it. But what it's going to do is it's going to round it out. And I can do the exact same thing with this one. And you'll see now we get this S curve in here. And automatically, we have this sort of slow, a little bit faster, slower. It's, it's looking a little bit better. It's kind of really close to linear still, but I think it already looks a whole lot better because there's like sort of a shoot coming out and then, then it slows itself back down. We can actually, let's control Z that and we can kind of, let's see, mess around with these. And you know, you can kind of move this stuff around, have a little bit of fun with it and really edit your graph. But I want to create sort of that really fast and then really slow thing. So what we can do is we actually control Z. Actually, let's let's round these both out here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the graph type down here. So we're going to go into edit, edit speed graph. And what you see here is what I've created. So instead of it being linear, which would be a box. So actually, let me show you what, what I mean by that. Let me get this back into view. If I go into edit value graph and I undo those, those uh, bevels that I created here, so we're going to make it linear again. If you go into the speed graph, you can see it's a constant speed the entire time. Now, if we redo those changes, so see, so that's one side and that's the other side. You see that it goes from basically not moving at all up to 1,500 pixels a second, or actually 1,663, and then back down to zero. Now then, what we want is it to slide in really fast and then to slow itself down. So what we can do is we can actually manipulate this curve even farther with these little guys right here. So if I click this, you can see that now it's going to go come in really slow, then it's going to shoot up to 4,000, and then it's going to slow itself down. Let's, let's just take a look at what that looks like. A little interesting, but still more interesting than the linear. And so let's do the opposite, because I think the opposite looks the best here. So we're going to bring it back to that, and then right like so. And there we have it. Just like that, we have that, that sort of that neat little slide happening in there. Now let's, let's say we wanted to add another keyframe, so we can keep kind of this going. So if I go here, and I'm going to want the Y position now to move down for some weird reason, you can see that it's represented in this graph once again. So if I go back into the edit value graph, you can kind of see the weird little curve that we've created here. So let's see, let's re-round that out. Let's try to round this out some. And, and let's go back into our speed graph. We can kind of work with this here. Um, and what's neat is you can actually move this up 
sort of try to get this to align a little bit better. So if we put that maybe there, lock that into there as well. And now we actually have these three points all sort of moving at the same speed, which is which kind of ties it together. Really, really neat. And actually, that's that's pretty cool. But yeah, so what I'm talking about here is that you can actually move the speed around and you can adjust all of these dynamics really, really, really intricately so that you can create an effect that you want. If you want it to move fast and then slow and then fast and then slow, you don't have to you know, make a thousand keyframes. You can come in here and you can edit the keyframes to add the motion that you want to add. And you see that if we go back to the value graph, we create this. There's no way that you could create this on your own, this curve. You would have to literally create a keyframe for every single one of these points and then because of this curve right here, so you can't just make two linear dots and try to make this curve, you'd have to make a point on every part of this. So it just wouldn't be possible. So that's what the editing keyframes is really all about, is coming into this graph view and being able to move around the motion of your effects so that you can create the effect that you want. That is really gonna do it on this tutorial. I hope that this helps you guys edit your keyframes and make some really neat sort of motion or effect changes or anything like that. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, sort of video focused videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, that's about it. Until next time guys, see ya.